The cost of the coronavirus to businesses. Some are obvious, like the convention that was canceled this week. But there are others that are struggling, including the business WBZ's Christina Hager visited today in Randolph. This load of medical devices from China delayed and backlogged before getting to Massachusetts. Customs brokers are doing less entries. The trucking companies are doing less container deliveries. The warehouses are getting less product coming in. Lindsay Barich owns Unitrans, a Randolph clearinghouse for imports and exports that he says have slowed since coronavirus crippled production in China. Normally a ship might have 5,000 containers on it. Right now they may have 3,000. U.S. Census data shows Massachusetts imports more than $4 billion worth of Chinese products a year. Much of that offloading here in South Boston. Receipts from imports headed to Massachusetts companies show everything from tires to handbags, electronics, popular board games, even the materials for candle making come from China. People engage in commerce. Uh, the thing they hate most is uncertainty. Jim Rooney heads up the Greater Boston Chamber of Commerce. He says the postponement of this weekend's Seafood Expo here at the Convention Center put a block on millions of dollars that would have poured into the local economy. There's immediate economic impact, the spending that might have otherwise taken place. Uh, first and foremost, hotel room nights, um, a loss. Money businesses like those here at Faneuil Hall bank on. But back at this warehouse, some good news. Barrich got word this week Chinese factories are finally back in business. Just came in uh, an ocean freight from uh, China. Question is, how long will it take good news here to trickle to businesses here? Christina Hager, WBZ News.